So somebody reached out a couple of weeks ago again, and and for for everybody who's asked questions over over the last months and months and whatever it's been. If I haven't built your thing yet, it's because I just haven't got to it. I have a whole big, huge list right over here on my wall of different hacks that I still need to do. And so they're, they're coming out. It's just I got a lot of other projects I'm working on too. So I try to get around to them whenever I can, especially on like Monday night and Tuesdays when I'm prepping for these calls is when I like to sit down and really start uh, you know banging out some of those. But somebody asked me a while ago about... Uh, Cardone University. Let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. Yeah. Okay, so here's the page right here. So what they were interested in is you're going to see a phone appearing down here in the bottom. And uh, so as you scroll up, you got some text on the right-hand side, and you got the phone on the left-hand side. And we're just going to keep scrolling. And as we do that, you're going to see here as the phone starts to change. And they were like, how in the heck did they do that? Now, I can tell you right now, the hardest part you're going to have with doing this is going to be getting that image of the phone and getting it absolutely perfect. Because again, as we scroll along here, we have a, you know, we have another one and then it gets covered up. So it's basically three different phone images as the background. And like I said, this one actually ended up being pretty simple because let me see if I can can show you the page so all I did here is this is a background image so I just went into Cardone's site I grabbed his images plunked them in here as backgrounds and then I set them as parallax so let me see if I can get this open all right so here's here's the image and here it is set as parallax and then I just put a bunch of padding in here and threw in some some text and some images just to make it look right and so you see here there's three three different sections and three different images. But because those images are parallax, they actually are fixed in to the background. So just like where we were doing the sidebar before, where we take the sidebar, we build it at the bottom, and then we fix it to the left-hand side. When you do a parallax image, it fixes it to the background. So then when we go to the live page here, we're going to scroll up on the page and so we got our image there, and then as we come up, we're going to have the second image. Well, it doesn't know any better, so th see that image again is fixed. So as we change out sections, we're going to see the one image, and then we're going to see the next image. Because those images are basically all three fixed right on top of each other, and they're going to show based upon which section we currently have on the page. So that's a pretty slick way of doing it. Like I said, the hardest part you're going to have is getting those, these, these uh, pictures of your iPhone to be exactly perfect. And you notice here, the time even changes here. So I'm not, uh, see, it goes from 1607 to 1553. So that would be the toughest part. You could probably get a template with that, um, with the outside, and then you probably just plunk in the inside of it is probably how somebody would do that.